Welcome to this webcast. My name is Artemakis Artemiu. I'm a SQL Server MVP. I am the leader of Cyprus Lieutenant User Group and the INETA Country Lead for Cyprus. In this session, I'm going to introduce SQL Server 2011, codenamed Denali CTP1. This is the agenda for this session. As you can see, we are going to talk about all the new features shipped with this CTP. These features can be met under the various categories of SQL Server features uh, like uh, manageability, programmability, spatial features, security enhancements, integration services features, and of course we're going to see some deprecated SQL Server features included in this CTP. In the end of this session, we're going to see a sum up of what was discussed. So, manageability features. We have a very large set of, of uh, features uh, falling under, under this category. Actually, these features belong to the database engine query editor. So we have the enhancement of debugging transactional SQL scripts from SQL Server 2005 SP2 or later. We have additional T-SQL breakpoints functionality. We have watch window, quick watch uh, support for T-SQL expressions. We, we have uh, a quick info pop-up when moving a cursor over a T-SQL identifier. Also, indexes can now support property scoped searching. Uh, we have uh, breakpoint validation and, of course, T-SQL code snippets. By observing these features, we can see that now there is uh, a convergence of technologies, meaning that features that were traditionally met in uh, Visual Studio, they can also be met in this CTP of SQL Server Denali. Some other features uh, include uh, contained databases, uh, you can parametrically uh, set startup options for the uh, instance of SQL Server Denali. And another important thing shipped with this uh, CDP of SQL Server is that Windows PowerShell is no longer installed by SQL Server Setup. Let's jump to the first demo and uh, take a look at some of these uh, features uh, that were mentioned earlier. So, uh, this is uh, the new SQL Server Management Studio. We cannot see any major differences when comparing it with the previous uh, version of SQL Server, but if we take a look at the menu, we can see that there is a debug menu item. With this, we can uh, perform debugging on our T-SQL statements. So uh, let's uh, execute a simple query and uh, we, let's set a breakpoint in order to check out the debugging features. I'm going to use the AdventureWorks uh, sample database for this demo. So I'm going to run a query for getting all the departments from the human resources schema. We 
we can execute the query like that and now we can see that it is being run in debugging mode here we can see the watch windows and of course breakpoints information we can also set breakpoints by single clicking on a line and like in Visual Studio we can step into each statement okay this uh, that was a simple example of debugging the important thing here is that besides the fact that you can set uh, breakpoints you can also set breakpoint uh, conditions hit counts and so on so if we click on condition here we can add our own condition and whenever this condition uh, is uh, logically true our breakpoint uh, acts accordingly to the behavior we want also we can set the has changed option and uh, whenever a value is changed our breakpoint uh, is invoked okay now let's check out the snippets uh, feature so let's say we want to use the test db database which uh, has not any tables in it and we want to create a table we don't need to uh, remember the exact syntax from do for doing that of course uh, someone may argue that we can do it visually but I'm a big fan of uh, T-SQL scripts so <laughs> let's uh, take a look on the process of creating a table using T-SQL code if we right click on our query window we can see the option insert snippet we click on it and we can see categories of snippets now we want to create a table so I'm clicking on the table category and here is my snippet create table double click on it you can see that the piece of uh, the t-sql code we need uh, gets on the screen so I'm going just going to create this uh, table and you see that our new table was created another uh, feature falls under the snippets uh, set of features that you have the option of selecting the surround with uh, snippets so when you click on that you can select begin if or while snippets and your code will be surrounded by these uh, snippets so again if I am using the AdventureWorks database they have a flag of type interior actually the adventure works database is not necessary for this demo but I'm just using it anyway so let's say I want to whenever my flag equals to one I want to get a message printed on my output so print flag is true so if I want to surround this uh, statement with an if condition I can just select it right click on it and select the click on the surround with uh, option so here I can select the uh, code snippet for the if statement and you see 